Hi, my name's Emily Shalong. I'm an author, poet and musician based in Cambridge, England. Um, I've released seven books in the last seven years and um, my most popular release is The Religion of Self-Enlightenment, um, which has been held as a cult classic by various media outlets and was also a finalist in the fiction category in the Book Excellence Awards in 2022. I have also featured in the London Book Fair and the LA Times Festival of Books, as well as having an album and an EP available on streaming sites as a result of my musical interludes. My latest book is called The Watch on the Beach and for anyone wondering why it is called that, um, I'd like to explain a little bit that it's linked to the watchmaker analogy by William Paley who was an 18th century philosopher and clergyman based in Peterborough who said that should you find a watch on the beach you would presume that it had a designer due to the intricacies and mechanisms of um, the instrument. Um, William Paley argued that you could expand this understanding to suggest that all of the universe has a designer um, and that the intricacies and mechanisms of life itself suggests um, a, a divine source behind it all and um, therefore it's an argument for the existence of God and when my main character, Clara Reynolds, is at her lowest ebb and wants to take her life, her best friend, Johnny Fox, says to her that she can't leave this world because she's a watch on the beach that makes him believe in a higher power. And therefore, in the same sense as um, the catcher in the rye, there's an echo of um, the desire and need to be saved um, in the title and um, uh, the goodness of, of the main character's heart. Eighty percent of um, the contents of the watch on the beach, um, the places they go, the people they see, the dialogue, um, was inspired by real life and uh, real people and um, real events um, which I experienced as a troubled young person maybe 10 years ago and um, during that time I had lots of adventures and lots of sadness and lots of um, questions really um, regarding the nature of life and how to proceed with it all. Um, this sense of questioning and yearning and wonder um, permeates the entire book I feel and um, really it was an attempt to put behind me my more troubled um, um, past and um, solidify that time of my life. Well, Clara Reynolds is the main character in The Watch on the Beach and she is a troubled young poet, very wayward in her nature and character. Um, in 2016, she's 29 years old and uh, she really tries and fails to find meaning and direction in her life. Um, so, as I say, um, she is a shadow of my former self and her friendship with Johnny Fox is loosely um, based on my own friendship with um, a, a colourful character called Rufus Fox who sadly died of Covid in 2020 and um, the whole book is uh, my attempt to pay homage to our platonic love. The thing I love most about writing is the incredible potential um, it, it provides um, to express and clarify your deepest feelings. And in doing that, you can form a bridge between your own inner world and that of others, and hopefully inform and um, comfort them in this troubling world. I would say that writing is a phenomenal uh, opportunity to 
uh, explore and clarify who you really are and not to waste that opportunity in trying to be someone you're not. All of my books can be found online, uh, primarily on Amazon sites across the world. Um, there are also links available on my website, emilyshalom.com, for those who need a helping hand. Mm -hmm.